calm down basically. I know you shouldn't really ask people to calm down when they're in a highly emotional state, but it got to the stage where I, had, I started to get closer and closer and I told him, I said, are you, are you okay then? Are you calm then? He goes, yeah. So when I loosed him, I loosed him off. And suddenly, his breathing went out. <laughs> and he was on the stairway. I had to get the ambulance out. See, that was, that was scary for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, gone with the days. I, I'm an old school. I used to be an old school doorman when I used to go and deal with people physically. I, I never used to care. Never had that consideration to have that conversation. Because the reality is, if you want to be a brilliant or excellent communicator, it's all about seeing where the person's at. You can't, I can't exactly tell what you're thinking. However, right, it's all about me learning to recognise where you're at and responding with that. So if you have to come to, I always say, if I have to come to blows at someone, my communication's failed. I look at it. I let the other person off the hook. I don't care what they've done. I don't care whether they've antagonised me or whether... If I've been bitten and I've reacted bad to that, I know my communication's failed. So I, I, what I do is I try to take full responsibility of the communication that goes on from before the struggle, from even here.